perhaps you think that's strange But they never call a policeman when I say I've lost a change Cos I'm not supposed to be all there I'm not wearing this again. Look at the state of me. Ah, give over. Pick you off when you're at looks. Mm. Never mind, son. You'll lose next time. I heard that. Guess what first prize was? Well, by the look on your face, I take it it wasn't tea with Miss Blackpool. An audition. Another audition? Not just another audition. Gets to audition for Jack Hilton. Oh, Jack Hilton. The Jack Hilton. Oh, well, I'll be. Who's Jack Hilton? <laughs> <laughs> you are all here is because you've got talent. You've proved that by winning your regionals. But I'm here to tell you that talent counts for nothing without hard work, application, and nerve. But don't just take my word for it. Oh, no. There's a young man come here today, just like you a few years back, young man. Yes. He auditioned for me in the afternoon, and I put him on stage at the London Palladium with Arthur Askey that very night. Let me please introduce to you the current star of Youth Takes a Bow, Britain's Mickey Rooney, Ernie Wise. <laughs> Why can't I wear something like that? It's not funny. It is with him, isn't it? Boys and girls, welcome. You know, when I first appeared at the Palladium, they called me the Jack Buchanan of tomorrow. And who knows? Perhaps one of you out there right now will one day be written up as the Ernie Wives of tomorrow. Oh, the Jack Buchanan of a week last Tuesday. Isn't he confident? That's one word for it. Man. I guess my way, don't you? Not up. I'm not doing it. Eric Come this far. Of course you're bloody doing it. You could be like Ernie Wise. I don't want to be like Ernie Wise. Big head, short legs, full of himself. Eric you've got you. Give it up. You've got. If you do, I'll buy you that air gun. How about that? Right, Adolf. This'll put a goose in your step. Prepare to see. The finest display of gunmanship since Nelson shot Napoleon in the Dardanelles. <laughs> I'm guarding the home of the home guard, guarding the home guard's home. Eric! Long, steady and strong. Oh. Eric! Have I been called up? Yes. Oh, they know a sniper when they see one. They picked you. You're in Youth Tech's of Hell. Oh, boy. Guarding the home guard's home. Your favourite. And before you say anything, George, I know tin salmon's not an everyday thing, but it's not every day, is it? And, oi, vanilla slice for afters. One each. Bloody hell, she landed London Palladium. Well, only a matter of time, according to Mr Hilton. Six months on the road, who knows where it might lead? How do you mean, on the road? You never mentioned that. Well, we're not coming back every night for touring the country, will we, Daft Acre? Oh, no. I suppose not, now you mention it. Touring the country? When will I see my mates? You'll make new mates. Variety mates. Mates with a bit of something about them. Don't want variety mates. I've got a gang here. And an air gun. Eric, do you be tired to whistle all your life like your dad? Well, Eric, so... listen to me. You make people laugh. You're a lovely dancer. And you can hold a tune. 
but more than that, and I mean this as the mother who carried you and nursed you and raised you, you aren't any good at anything else. You told me it was the teachers that were at fault. Oh, you were bottom of the class at everything except fooling around. So if, if fooling around is what you are good at, then why not do it for a living then, eh? No answer to that. What's your name again, Sonny? Eric Bartholomew. He's a bit nervous, first day and all that. But you were just the same, weren't you? No, not really. You see, it was different for me. I went straight on in the West End. Arthur said it was as I'd been doing it for years. You should get some new material. Arthur Askey, he's a lovely fella. Hey, I'll introduce you when he comes down. Good luck, Sonny. Thank you, thank you. Arthur Tulcher. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go easy on this next youngster because it's his first time on a professional stage. Smash his face in. You do no such thing. A warm welcome for the big baby, Eric Bartholomew. Eric, Eric. Go. Right. I'll give you a big baby. What are you doing? No, I'm with a Mrs. Waite. She's kept me the first floor front. And where's your mother? She's at home in Leeds. Oh, have you not got a chaperone? Why would I need a chaperone? Cheerio. You hear that? Yeah, even his own mother's put up with him. Yes? Ernie Wise. I'm booked in for two nights. Ernie who? Wise. I'm the headline in Youth Takes a Bow. Mr. Hilton has made my arrangements. Well, not with me, he hasn't. Try Mrs. Last's on Cross Street, love. But... You said I'd enjoy show business. Yeah. Well, I'm not. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh. oh, that we're very close. All all right in here? Yes. What about everybody else? Everybody's fine. It'll be bad news for somebody. No, didn't hit the theatre. Mrs. Bartholomew. Why are you doing wandering around in the blackout? You're not courting, are you? <laughs> no, I'm mixed up with the digs. I'm, I'm just sorting something out, you know, temporarily like. Not having you wandering the streets at this hour? You can share with us. What happened to your first floor front then? Eh? Did it not pass muster? My digs got bombed. Ah, expecting you were, eh? Come on, you fellas. You and me, we'll have to top and tail. What? I'm not sharing with you. Good, I was hoping you'd say that. You and Ernie can top and tail. <clears throat> he 
You're keeping your socks on, aren't yes. you? Yes, yeah. When did you last change them? February. Hey, <sighs> you got all the blankets? Well, I'm top of the bill. Oh, Eric, see you tomorrow. No, hang on, Eric. I'm bunking up with you again. Oh, no, sunshine. I arranged it with your mum. Oh, you don't want to ask me about it, then? Hey, if you have a sulking, we will all save a few bob and you might learn some manners. Oh, allow me. Oh, thank you, Ernie. Go on. How much have you saved so far? Six bits half an Jenny, baby. Thank you. Don't take the boy. Perhaps he's not all there. What? Your song, I'm not all there. Well, that's what it's about, isn't it? You watch it's a missing. That's a double meaning. <laughs> what? No. It's a simpleton routine, isn't it, Mum? I was going to tell you when you were 21. I can't believe it. Good night, boys. All right, who's this? Yeah. I thought I told you to just drink half the soda. I did, but my half was at the bottom. <laughs> that we have to be prepared in the Mediterranean. Gang. I see yours is more of a Wilson, Kipple and Betty. I think you'll find there are three of them. Are there? <laughs> now, there's novelty. <laughs> Go on. Write that down. Hey, That was a good gag. You can work up a double act. Cross talk, solo from Ernie, soft shoot to finish. Let Ernie do it. He's got better handwriting. What's that? A Greek urn. What's a Greek urn? About 30 bob a week. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Can, can you lend me two pounds, please? Thank you. No, it's all right, won't do. Now, you owe me one. I don't understand. Lend me two pounds. No, it's all right, won't do. Now, you owe me one. I don't understand. It's not sharp enough. Do it again faster. All right, lend me two pounds. No, it's all right, won't do. Now, you owe me one. I don't understand. Let me two pounds. No, it's all right, one will do. Now you owe me one. I don't understand. Well, I'll show you. Ask me for two pounds. Let me two pounds. There's two pounds. How much have you asked for? Two pounds. How much have I given you? Two pounds. Now you owe me two. <laughs> now we're all square. <laughs> what are you crying for? You just conned me out of two pounds. It's me father. <laughs> he died this morning. Oh, well, that's terrible. How did it happen? <sighs> it was on the roof of a paint factory. He slipped, he fell through, he drowned in a tank of varnish. Well, that's a horrible way to go. On the contrary, everyone said he had a beautiful finish. <laughs> 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 